Hello friends, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to another video. Today I've got a video talking about how to make some money for uh, lazy people such as myself. I do play a lot but I don't play particularly actively. I'm not clearing maps in like 40 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever. I'm not just zooming around playing the fastest build except maybe on this Piscator character that I made but for the most part I'm pretty lazy but I still manage to make a lot of exalts um, in this current or in this current league i have like a six link queen of the forest i have a perfect calms heart on my other character i have like 12 15 k or exalts worth of uh i have 12 or 15 exalts worth of jewels on my various characters so uh, i have a lot of good stuff going on and uh, I just want to go over my top three ways that I make currency during a new league. And the first two are pretty obvious, but uh, the last one I'm not sure everyone knows. So uh, number one is you should have gems leveling in your secondary weapon slot, meaning uh, say I was going to start a new character, you can put two three links that you get at a vendor or something um so say i was starting out and i saw this here uh this le these two legion swords i could pick those up i'll put them in my alternate weapon slot and then you can level gems while you're doing that uh it's going to take a long time for you to get 20 gems if you're only playing a couple hours a day but a lot of times the level 20 gems will sell for about seven chaos as long as they're generally useful gems so you get gems that people are playing like uh arc elemental hit blade vortex um anything that's popular tornado shot maybe not tornado shot usually spells though spells are a big one so you level six of them in your alternate weapon slot and then you sell them now you could just vol them yourself in fact vols st seem to drop a lot this league i'm using them like crazy and they still seem to be uh dropping left right and center um so i would say that maybe you want to do that but you're not gonna it's a little bit more of a gamble you might get your level 21 one and then that'll be worth a lot but a lot of people want quality and if that's the case you'll have to buy gem cutters prisms or use them as well and those are really expensive i think uh I think they're almost one to one. I'm pretty sure I bought 40 uh, GCP for 40 chaos earlier today. So uh, they're basically one to one at the moment. And I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'd just sell them off. Um, this means every few days, depending on how much you play, uh, it could be every day or every like, if you don't play that much, maybe every week. Uh, potentially you're basically making 42 chaos or so for free if they each sell for seven chaos which a lot of them do um you're gonna sell them for a lot more if you do 20 quality them and you do successfully get them level 21 but uh in my opinion it's better to just make the consistent currency all right number two number two is uh you're gonna want to play a now this is more of a general play style thing rather than a specific hint uh, or a specific tip but you want to play a very very cheap character this is was my league starter it is a poison blade vortex character this isn't actually a rise of the phoenix it's a skin transfer but um the only actual necessary items for this character to function the only uh ones that you absolutely need are the Bino's Kitchen Knife and the Azir's Promise. And they're both one chaos items even on like day two of the league. So they're very easy to get. You don't even need them to get to end game maps. They just help a lot once you start getting into a, um, yellow and red maps type thing. And other than that, this this build has no requirements. Uh, same thing with Fire Trap. And what that allows you to do is um, since you're playing this different build you start planning out your second build uh in my case it was elemental hit and then i did a piscator's build a lot of people do piscator's builds because they're cheap to start but then have a high potential for a clearing is once you get the gems um so you do these super no investment type and you sell all of the stuff you're not going to use so um you sell all of the uh soul takers all of the you know all of the items you get i know one that sells for a lot during beginnings of leagues before people or what that were selling for a lot are uh call the brotherhood they're down to like five 
chaos now, but they were at about 17 chaos. If I would have sold these off, if I wouldn't have bought them for my, uh, or I found one of them, but um, if I had sold this instead of buying it, it would have been worth quite a bit more. Um, a lot of these items devalue, so if you sell the powerful items in the early portions of the league, you can always buy them back if you need them again later. A lot of times, most of them will devalue over the course of the league. Um, another thing you can do that's in the similar vein is if you're making a, a generalist who's just trying to kind of do their atlas here, um, then you can build a character that doesn't do things like uh, Aziri and you can sell your sacrifice at midnights during the beginning. Uh, you can sacrifice offering to the goddess once you've done your uber lab if you're not going to run uber lab. A lot of people run uber labs. Um, if you like running the the little trials in the maps when you come across them, you can sell these usually from three to five. Some people just ignore them. If you're casually going through anyway, um, you know, just for a few minutes of trouble, sometimes not even depending on how fast your build is. Uh, some of them you can get through in like a minute or so. Uh, you can earn three to five chaos and that's pretty good. So offering up to the goddess is a good thing to sell in the beginning. Uh, I would highly recommend that. Uh, you can sell fossils. I've been using mine the whole time, so uh, that's. You can also sell uh, unique rings if you don't plan on making the recipe for unique rings. If you don't plan on getting your uh, your lore weave, you can just sell these. And rare rings are always going to go for like a minimum of two chaos. So um, basically, by making yourself a generalist that doesn't rely on anything in particular, um, I don't I have a bunch of random stuff in these tabs, but uh, you can make a lot of extra money that way um, and so let's get into the last one the last one is um, so Xana helps a lot with this Zana does um, because she now offers various missions and one of the ones she offers is abyss so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pick up every single searching eye jewel that you get um, especially in the very beginning of the league even picking up low-level ones is gonna help a lot and you're going to want to craft uh, searching eye jewel. So I'm going to take this one as an example. I'm pretty sure this one's a low level. Yeah, this one's really low level. Maybe I won't do this one. Um, but let's see. Just as an example, 78 will do or 72. Uh, which one of these is worse? They're both okay. Um, the multi. All right. Just for... Uh, for the sake basically the idea is we are going to be picking up and crafting every single searching eye jewel and this one this number three tip made me all of my money like i probably made like 30 exalts and i've been able to buy whatever i want on any number of uh alt characters i've been spending money like crazy and the reason for that is because i have been selling uh searching eye jewels this one has uh a bunch three tier ones including life uh and double lightning attack and uh i have it up for two exalts i might have to lower it to like one and a half exalts but these almost always sell so i've been selling a lot of the searching eye jewels and most of the ones i sell go in between 20 and 50 chaos uh, and the method I use is I'll just, uh, I'll scour it, but usually they come blue or something. And you just kind of roll uh, for life, and then you try to get a tier 1 or tier 2 elemental damage roll. So I'm going to keep rolling. I'm just going to kind of show. So this one is tier 3 of each of these. Not good enough. I like to have tier 2. Uh, you can roll tier 1 of some of them. Okay, here. So we have tier 2 wand attack. And the reason we do this is because almost everyone i mean literally just about everyone is running a uh either a wind ripper elemental bow tornado shot magic finder or a piscator's magic finder in the beginning of a league like and they all need like 10 abyssal jewels so for just uh a few okay not quite good enough nope uh so we either wait until we get two uh two tier two or better rolls as far as damage with alts because we have plenty of alts we're just picking stuff up since we're playing nice and lazy and then or uh, a health and then a tier two 
Oh, uh, that's tier four still. So this one's taking a little bit longer than usual, tier three. Um, but and then we after we do that, we literally just uh, regal it and usually make some decent jewels. Oh, okay, tier three, double tier three. Uh, that and that still might sell. Uh, that's mana, not life. That still might sell, but I. I like to go for the nice safe pick. People like to go life double damage very, very often on these. All right, so let's see if we can actually craft one on camera. That would be nice. Normally it hasn't taken me, and maybe I've just gotten really lucky with these, but I feel like a lot of times I spend maybe like uh, 40 or so, 40 or so alts, and then uh, one regal, and I usually get something pretty good so not quite it's taken quite a while to get it this time <laughs> oh boy there's 30 life and pen man man just when I go to show it off on camera it's like nah yeah uh, Boy, I might have been making money off just really good luck all this time. Now, I'm pretty convinced. Okay, here's a tier two roll. There's life. We're going to regal it. And we got uh, another tier two damage roll. So here we have a double elemental life. And this one's not worth all that much. Um, it's got an average damage. Let's see what's that like. Uh, 34 plus 61. So 95, which is what? 47 and a half average damage and life so probably maybe like 10 15 chaos but we spent maybe like 60 or so alterations and one regal on it so even if we only sell it for about 15 chaos uh, and you can always check the prices you just go to uh, poe.trade and you pop in you go jewel you go searching eye jewel uh, you do life pick the life uh, you can look at the what the role is here I always go the bottom so we go 25 is the bottom tier for this role so life minimum 25 and then uh, elemental damage with attack skills and this is going to be total uh, adds total adds uh, and we said it was 47 and a half, but that's not what the average is of the tiers. So we take the bottom here. So 13, uh, 25 plus uh, 50, 78 divided by 2. So uh, 39, that would be. So we take the average of 39 and we search, see what we get. Um, 25 chaos okay so that's better than I thought so we're gonna pop this in for 25 C 25 chaos oops Zach price uh, 25 chaos and we could we could put it 24 just to try to get a quick sell like put it underneath similar searching ones in fact let's do that because we like to flip things pretty quickly but as you can see this is 19 to 31 and then 15 to 30 uh, compared to this one which is a total of 50 elemental damage to attack so uh, they're pretty comparable this one's gonna be a little bit cheaper I'm sure somebody will probably buy up one of these other ones uh, we can even assess and say uh oh, ours is a little bit worse than this one even so maybe we drop it a couple we could go 23 but um, yeah like I said I estimated at 15 uh, 24 chaos it cost me uh, like some alts which we get so many alterations just picking them up and then sometimes I buy regals I usually buy like uh, 20 regals every once in a while just with our chaos that we make and uh, they last me for quite a while so that is how I make money um, three methods with the third method being how I make a huge bulk of the money um, like I said in the beginning of leagues that you can pretty much always apply this as unless they nerf quantity or something because people are always looking for jewels for their wind ripper or piscator's wander or tornado shot build 
shields for magic finding. They just run tier five maps uh, with high quantity speed clear them uh try to get divination cards and stuff they can flip or uh maybe they'll run tier 10s if they're running a really high geared quantity build but yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed i hope this was informative this has been ryan from behind eyes gaming and i will see you next time bye hello friends this is ryan from behind eyes gaming thank you for watching the video behind eyes gaming is brought to you by viewers like you Please don't forget to check out my Patreon in the link below, and also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of future videos, live streams, and more. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!